Hello guys and gals and welcome to World of Warplanes. Wow, did not think I would ever say that. Um, <laughs> from the beta, uh, I, I, I had not heard good things about this game and I'll be honest, um, it certainly is not on par with the other game. And I say the other game purely because uh, Wargaming is not fond of having their game um, uh, put on a pedestal next to the other game or its competitor. Uh, and I really don't want to have my you know video taken down and them to be mad at me and say I can't ever record any ever again because that'd be that'd be kind of crappy. Um, but basically. This game is very much an arcade game, and I, I am just bad at arcade games. Historical games, I'm, I can do them. World of, World of Tanks is probably the most arcadey I get, as far as arcade games. Um, if it was, if if you just pointed and shot at tanks and you could do damage and you didn't have to worry about armor, I would probably never have, never played World of Tanks, and that's what it is in worth on. The warplanes. Um, you shoot, and no matter where you hit the plane, you uh, you're going to do damage. And it, I'm just so bad at that. It, I I think it's mostly me. I, the graphics look fine. I'll be honest. They look from what screenshots I heard and saw. Uh, the graphics look awesome compared to the early versions of this game. Uh, the controls are a little tricky, but they're not the worst around. Uh, I had to change a couple of things because they didn't give you rudder or elevator or you know any other really controls you're playing. You just used your mouse to move, which was pretty annoying, but it takes five minutes to change and you'll never need to do it again. Whatever. The main reason, however, that I went and downloaded this game was because of this. 50 gold. Of course, it's actually going to be 75 gold in a little bit because I haven't completed the last one. Um, I want to save that for this video. Um, basically, as you complete the, uh, the uh, tutorials, you get 25 gold for each of the three tutorials. So you get 75 gold total. Um, which is, it's not an incredible amount, but it's 75 gold for it downloading and playing a little bit of a game and I'm sure it's a little bit of an incentive just to get people into the game and well you know it got me in I mean, I'm sure it'll get a couple couple of people who see this video in but um, to be honest after I'm done with this video I'm probably not gonna play this game until they come out with some overhauls in the, in the system to be honest because I'm just god awful at this game and I think it's mostly me not so much the game but I, I'm just, I'm terrible at this game. Uh, I've played two battles. I got absolutely murked in both of them. Uh, did a total of what, 203 damage. No, 8 damage to aircraft. 8 damage. And 203 to ground targets. I, I haven't killed anything. I haven't gotten any assist points. I haven't destroyed it. I'm, I'm just bad at this game. Uh, but one of the nice things that they do is they gave you a, for all your tier 1 aircraft, it gives you a crew with a 100% in its first thing and then 50% on its first achievement. However, the weird thing is that your achievements or your perks or whatever they're called, after you get 100%, you have to choose two of these before you can use any of these, which is... I don't know if I agree with that. It kind of seems weird that they would do that. Um, but it's kind of nice that they gave you 100% crew. Um, I wish that uh, experience or you know credits and stuff changed over. I wish I wish they would, because I would um, it would actually give me a reason to maybe play some of these planes and maybe get a little bit of uh, experience or credits or whatnot. Um, but as it stands right now, I'm probably not going to come back here. One thing I did like, if I can find out, oh, there it is, paint shop. 
This paint, it's not like the other game's paint shop, which it's not called the paint shop, but it, it's pretty cool. It's, it's less customized, customization, but it's more. Um, you can, ooh, this one doesn't really have that many colors, but, I mean, you can change the entire color of your aircraft, you can change it for all the different maps, you know, whatever you want. Uh, and then this is the cool one I thought it was just to have like a little bit of nose art on there and this is for all the machines to have and in the other game you kind of can have this I mean you place it on there yourself but I think this is kind of cool I wish that this um, I wish that uh, if I can get back here I wish that it's um, Was this purchase and mount? Yes. Ooh, fancy schmancy. Can I buy these? Wow. Oh, as you can see, I have not done this game very much. <laughs> Ooh, did that just change the front end of this? Yeah, it did. Well, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm learning, still learning this game. Don't know exactly what I'm doing, <laughs> but um, basically, like I said, the main reason I came here was for the gold. So I'll show you that. Uh, I've just got the last um, battle thing. The first one was basically going around and doing maneuverability. The second one I think was dog fighting, and this one is dog fighting with a team. Six 
how's my friends in the experience. Not too bad. Uh, you can't repeat these. You cannot repeat these. If I can find where's the. <laughs> I have no idea where they went. Um, you know, in the World of Tanks, it's right here. You just click on a thing and it's right there. I have no idea where this. where it went. Man. Well, anyways, I got 75 gold now, which is pretty good. And gold is shared between the two games, along with premium. And, um,. When you, you you just use your World of Tanks account and it'll automatically sign you up. Uh, and the other thing is that World of Warplanes just went into, uh, not, like, into, it was out of, it got released out of open beta. It's now a full game, fully, not really fully realized, but a, a, it's a complete game, I guess you could say, of sorts. Um, tech Trees. Eh, American ones. Or no, this is German, sorry. I was like, why are the BF 109s in American? Of course, it's not BF 109s. These are BF 109s, these are BF 110s. Um, but, I mean, they got ME 410s, they got BF 110s, they got this weird BF 109 with two engine things, fuselages, which is kind of sketchy. It looks like the, uh, where's the American? Do they have it? Oh, they don't have it. I see it's the lightning looks like that. Um I got the ME two six two, which happens to be a tier eight, which I mean that seems kinda overpowered. I mean you'd think that the ME two six two is you know, like a tier nine, maybe a, probably a tier ten. But I guess tier eight. I mean, it's probably not overpowered or something. I don't know. I must have done something with that. I haven't. I just I keep on getting murked by like you know BF one tens and whatnot. Uh, if I have time in this video, I might put it up. I also might just make a second video of me getting actually destroyed. Uh, I think I no, I didn't research these. I just did the German ones. Because uh, I kind of wanted to get to the BF 109s, but yeah, if I don't get to them, I don't get to them. Um, anyways, the Americans, I mean, they've got your uh, Hawks, your, your uh, War Hawks, they've got uh, the Mustang. Holy crap, they get it at tier 6. Wow. They get so many Mustangs. Alright, and then, um,. You got your Corsair at... Oh, that's a Wildcat, never mind. Again, t Corsair Tier 6. Wow. That's actually kind of strange. I wouldn't have thought of a, um, Corsair as a Tier 6. I mean, tier s I mean, it kind of seems like Tier 1 through 4 is... Actually, no. Probably Tier 1 and 2 are like biplanes. I mean, these are like pre-war type things. Like... Three through four are like early war. Five and six are like late war. Or no, like mid to late war. Eights are like absolute late war. And then nines are like after the war in Korea. Nines and tens. So that, I guess that might be how it's broken up. But I mean, you, you, the ME 262 is fighting up against, you know, prop planes. I mean, IL-20. I've never heard of that before. Um, and what's this? 209A. It's got... I can't even read that print from here. It looks like 30s and 20s. That's not too bad. And it goes up against, you know, ME-262, which I think has got 320s. 420s, my bad. I can't count... Japanese don't have a lot of tanks, uh, or tanks, planes. Of course they don't have a lot of tanks. It's a World of War planes. Um, they get the zero pretty fast, actually. Shinden. 
this even a chat? Oh yeah, it must be. I don't see a propeller. Huh. Well. Spitfires. A tier 6 mosquito. Jeepers. Just one bow fighter. Tier 5. Ironically, the same exact tier as the other game. Hmm. Amazing how it transfers over. I kind of want to know how this performs in this game compared to the other game. If it's just as overpowered. Probably not, because it's fighting up against, like... No, no, Warhawks. And Wildcats. Lag 3s. Yak 7s. Isle 2s. Beautiful line E. Frederick. I kind of want to find out what this thing is. It kind of looks cool. What does it have? Three t oh, two thirties. I was going to. Huh. Well, that's the tech tree. Um, overall, I'm. I'm just bad at this game. Um, it, I would suggest you just play the thing. The flight model is a little strange. Um, if you use your uh, elevator to turn, you basically do loops in the air so quickly. I mean, it, it seems a little unrealistic how well. I mean, maybe it's just the biplanes, and I haven't got it anywhere higher than tier 2. In fact, the only tank I've plane I've played is a tier 2, so... That partially is why. Um, but just the 75 gold, I think, makes it worth it just to test out. Um, yeah, if you guys really want to see more of this, <laughs> I, I'll i try it again. But if there isn't anything or anyone who says they want more, I, I, I'm planning on just leaving this game until they... Well, until they overhaul things, because I'm, as it stands right now, I'm just not good at all at it. So, uh, I'll probably make another video of me uh, actually in game getting destroyed. And, uh, yeah, uh, if you enjoyed this, if you want, if you actually do want to see more of World of Warplanes, um, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, catch you guys all later.